right. <clears throat> Let's see what they have to say. This is an update on the Kanika Jenkins story. The story about the 19-year-old girl who was found in the freezer of a hotel. First and foremost, I did view the video. Some parts of the, uh, the video that I won't get into uh, camper this investigation, but the important part is that we all was wondering and wanted to know, did anybody pull her down there? Did anybody force her down there? Was anybody on the other side in that room with her when, when she got down there? And the answer to that is no. Uh, she walked into that unsecured area that should have been secured with locks on there where she couldn't get in there. Now, I've been inside the freezer down there, and upon looking at that freezer, you can open up that door, take a half step up, turn to your left, pull the other door. This door would be closing anyway. The other door, probably when she got in there, that door closed on the two, and it was dark in there. Now, there is a knob that you can push to get out of there, but, you know, that investigation has to go on with the both my police departments wait on the time. Now, if you pay attention to what this man was saying, it sounds like a bunch of conjecture, right? You're saying that you saw a video of her go into the freezer. But now, after you say that you saw a video of her going into the freezer, now you're trying to explain how she could have done it, right? Toxicology to see what's going on with that. But as far as someone pulling her down there, leaving her down there, Okay. At this point, it's a, it's a lot of conjecture, right? Now, the media is reporting that they have a video that they release of her walking into the freezer. But there's something very, very peculiar that I would like to point out about these videos. Because at this point in time, all we have is conjecture, right? They're saying this is how she could have went into the freezer and locked herself in. That's what the man was saying. Now, this woman is saying that there's no way but there's so now the media is saying they're releasing videos that the police release right and they are now claiming that they have video of her walking into the freezer but there's something very peculiar about these videos and I'm about to show y'all Okay, so now the police released several videos that show what appeared to be Kanika Jenkins stumbling around the hotel as if she was on something. She was inebriated on something, right? You know, she wasn't quite coherent. You know, she's stumbling around. She doesn't have a balance, right? So here goes the video. This is the video uh, of her that they're saying is her going into the freezer. All right. What we have here is what appears to be an unoccupied kitchen. So I'm um, 
I want y'all to pay close attention to that timestamp in the upper right. I want y'all to pay close attention to that timestamp in the upper right. It says 232. It says 232. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> now here's the rest of the surveillance that I've been able to find thus far. Okay. Now they showed her allegedly walking into the freezer which somehow she supposedly locked herself in at around 2.32. Now here's some video of her stumbling around in the hotel. You can clearly see that she's, you know, she's stumbling around. Doesn't have a balance. We can see that. <clears throat> but if you look at the upper right, the time says 329. If you look at the upper right, the time says 329. And that's what's not, that's the reason why I feel like the media is being very disingenuous. Whoever is pushing the narrative of she locked herself in the freezer and that nobody else played a part in it, I feel like they're being very disingenuous because they're certainly not showing us everything. Because what we have is we got a clip of her walking into a kitchen. We don't know where she ended up at. A short clip of her walking to the kitchen at 2.32. Then we see her walking around in the hallway at 3.29. 3.30 now. You see? So, at this point in time, the narrative that they're pushing, what they're, for what they're showing in the videos, is not, that's just not adding up. It's just not adding up, man. It's just not adding up. So, I hope that they're able to find justice for this look, for this young woman. You know, because <clears throat> Something happened. <laughs> Something happened. You know, it sounded like it was some foul play. We don't know exactly what happened. But something certainly happened. And, and I, I imagine the full surveillance has the whole story. So, only time will tell, you know, what eventually they'll do. Only time will tell, man. And like I said, I. I Julia? Mark sources telling GN. Hopefully they get their, you know, their just due. Investigates that there was. And this is the media oh, confirming that she walked into the freezer. On the old freezer door where the body of Kanika Jenkins was found this weekend. The hotel surveillance video yielding important clues for investigators as to precisely what happened to the 19-year-old in the moments before she seemed to have disappeared. Crime stopper Andrew Holmes says that he would... This is the, is the news basically just claiming, you know, they're just claiming... This is just the media claiming that she went into the freezer. But, you know, those are some valid things. You know, those are some valid things. And I just want the people to consider that and hopefully they do the right thing hopefully they do the right thing and, and justice will prevail and so with that being said i'm out <laughs>